Lymington is a port town on the west bank of the Lymington River on the Solent, in the New Forest district of Hampshire. The earliest settlement in the area was around the Iron Age hill fort known as Buckland Rings, which has been dated to around the 6th century BC. Lymington began as an Anglo-Saxon village in the 6th century and was named Lymenton. In the Doomsday Book, it is recorded as Lentoon. About 1200, William de Redvers, who was the Lord of the Manor, created the borough of New Lymington around the present-day Quay and High Street. The town became a parliamentary borough in 1585. Lymington was made famous for salt making from the Middle Ages up to the 19th century. From the 19th century onwards, Lymington has had a thriving shipbuilding industry. Lymington may look like a beautiful place when looking out over the quayside, observing the grand yachts. But not so long ago, down by the quay was a much rougher part of town, with pubs full of ladies of the night and smugglers. There are tales of tunnels leading from local inns such as the Angel, reaching all the way down to the waterside. Lymington also has many tales of paranormal happenings. I'm going to look at the two most famous ghost stories associated with the town. For the first ghostly tale, we look at the historic Angel and Blue Pig on the High Street. Formerly named the Angel Inn, and before that the George Inn, said to be heavily haunted, one spirit, seen frequently, is that of a former coachman, who is often seen in the kitchen area. He is seen with his nose pressed against the window, waiting for a free supper. Another manifestation is that of a sailor or shipbuilder, who has appeared late at night in the bar area during the 1970s. He was witnessed as a tall bearded man dressed in an old mariner's coat with brass buttons. On another occasion, a piano was heard by guests in the bedroom next door to the old ballroom. Despite searching, no one could be found. What's strange is the piano had been removed from the building the day before. In other instances, people have heard phantom footsteps. Also, a ghostly blonde female was spotted on the second floor and giggling has also been heard all around the building. For our next location, we move across the river to visit the old ferryman pub, once called the Wagon and Horses, and before that the Wagon Ale House. This place has seen much tragedy in its time. In 1893, the body of a farmer was found lying in a field, field nearby. He had been shot in the back by his own shotgun. He had no enemies or any urges to commit suicide. It became known as the Ardlemont shooting case. At the pub, gamekeeper Henry Card was demonstrating to Mr John Bly, a man from London, how easy it could be for a person to accidentally shoot themselves if they carried their shotgun the wrong way. He hadn't realised that Card's gun was loaded, and then he shot himself dead. The man's ghost has been seen often in the bar area of the pub reliving his terrible and horrible end. With a history leading back for many hundreds of years, with smugglers and tragedy staining what is now a lovely town. Limington is a very, very haunted place. 
and is sure to remain so for many, many more years to come. This has been A History of Limington, concentrating on its paranormal past. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great free videos. Thanks very much for watching.